and um, Florida's a good team, and we're a good team. So um, we're excited about uh, about the win at you know anytime you're an SEC opponent, that's obvious that it's going to be a great competition. And um, our meet at Arkansas was certainly an indicator of how solid this team is. Um, third meet in eight days, the kids were a little bit tired, but they pushed through it and really gave us. Um, the kind of performance that we need, the consistency that we need to move forward through the rest of the season. What, what's the, the benefit of peaking later in the season? I mean, we've probably seen some teams in the past, they, they hit their stride really, really early. Well, you know, our teams in the past, the past three or four years, have hit their stride very, very early, made a, a great impression early, maintained that, and got a little bit better as we got into the postseason. Um, this team, we knew we were going to have this, this kind of early season, um, and we feel like They've really established themselves, uh, able to capitalize on momentum, which is critically important, and um, created some consistency that they've been able to maintain. So, you know, with that said, we, we did that at Arkansas um, and um, with, the, with some adversity because the, there were some inconsistencies in the judging. Um, it's a very tight floor and uh, the, the crowd's really close to you so you know there were a lot of things that uh, we felt like our kids overcame and did a great job and you know now to come home and be able to prepare for a really good Georgia team we're excited. Speaking of the in inconsistencies in judgment, judging did you see the email that uh, I guess somebody sent out to all the judges? And no I didn't know? see it. <laughs> I guess they talked about judging based on name and not performance uh -huh. and stuff like that you know just how does that. How do Who sent that out? I didn't I haven't seen it. I think it was just the NCAA. Oh really? Mm -hmm. hmm. No, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. And I, I don't. I don't know what good. What it's, a good, it's not going to change what the judges are doing. I don't think. Um, I just. I just think there's a world of difference between a nine eight zero oh, and a nine nine five. I mean, there's a that's a, there's a world of difference between those kinds of performances. And um, I, I just think that the judges should be a little a little bit better prepared to give great scores to great performances and uh, if somebody has a mistake that's not a 10-0 that's not a 10-0 routine but if somebody has a flawless routine they could go 995 or 10. so you know they just have to be able to discern the difference in those quality of performances has this just been a year of officiating and it is more important than <laughs> It's coming up more than ever. It's, more, I, it's coming up more than ever. And, you know, they talk about the sub subjectivity in gymnastics, but it, there's subjectivity in sport. And, I mean, look at look what happened, you know, our football and, you know, our football team. And, and that was egregious. And then you look at, you know, the, some of these basketball plays that they're, they're dragging these games on and on and on because they're going back and reviewing every – every play you know I, I don't I don't know what's better you know I would rather have a, a tight competition a, you know where where it, it, it flows and it moves but this stop and start thing is really painful um, at least in gymnastics it flows and it moves fast we may be dealing with with little mistakes here and there with the judges but um, I think the the best team wins in the end for us right now how much mental toughness goes into the sport with so much I think you have to be mentally tough to be able to put it aside. And the, the, the message, main message is control the things you can control. And, you know, if your athletes are out there doing their best and giving you 100% and um, there's a flaw here or there, move on. You know, move on. Go, it's not world hunger. Move on. Go forward with it. And um, I, I think our team is doing a good job at doing that, is, is removing the clutter and, and focusing on those things that they can control. But um, they, they, they really have um, our, our gymnastics team has really done a great job these last four competitions, I think, um, of, of defining who they are, how they want to compete, and where they want to go. How many seniors do you have? Uh, three. Three? Four. four. I'm sorry. I have four seniors. I have four seniors. Um, Sarah Finnegan, Lexi Priestman, um, Juliana Canamella, and McKenna. You know, it's hard to think of McKenna as a senior because she didn't compete last year. So, you know, I, I tend to say three. McKenna's, you know, got that extra year if she wants to take it. So we're, yeah. But a great senior class. Uh-huh. You honor, they're going to be honored before? They'll be honored. Um, our senior nights are Oregon State meet. So they'll be honored on March the, what date is that? March the, March the 8th. Is it March the 8th? 
March the 8th is our, is, will be our senior night when we'll, we'll honor those kids. So we have four, but, you know, McKenna is a, a, be a senior, and it's her senior year. Is this one of the best senior classes you can, you know, think in recent memory? Well, just to look at what they've accomplished, their, their body of work, and, you know, the, the people that they have um, been able to, to beat on a consistent level it, it, the, and the level of, of the quality of performance that they have been able to maintain. And, you know, Sarah Finnegan leading that charge, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. What can you even say any more about Sarah that you haven't already said for her to be as consistent as she has been? Well, let me tell you this. I'm happy that we have seniors. I'm, I'm happy and I'm proud that, that, we, that this sport has seniors that stay and represent their university and compete at, at this high, high level and get their degree and move on to be professionals in something besides their sport. <laughs> How's Lexi? She, she um, she's had you know um, a very good rehabilitation, and and you know the it, we're hoping that you know what the responding that we're seeing to the treatment and the and the injections that she had is real, and uh, we'll know a little bit more today. She's gonna she's gonna train and try to we're gonna put a little bit more load on her, but you know we're hoping we we need to get her back on bars, no doubt, and uh, hoping that uh, we'll have a, a vault by the end of the season or, or, and I won't say end of the season, by SECs. So that gives us um, you know, almost a month to, to continue to get her ready. She, we're definitely a better team when she's on our, in bars. Well, there is a possibility, like you said last week, that she could go from full ball. There's a huge possibility that we're going to give it a 100% effort to make that happen.